What's up? This is Dylan from Manoa Chocolate, and today we're going to talk about the importance of festivals, in particular chocolate festivals. The Northwest Chocolate Festival is coming up. In fact, in two weeks, I'm going to be in Paris at the Salon de Chocolat. And the reason that these festivals are so important is because you really see what the industry looks like. You get to meet other chocolate makers and contemporaries. You get to see their packaging. You get to taste all their chocolates. And most of them are also really cool. So you make a bunch of friends. The other part is there's a whole bunch of equipment manufacturers. And these are the people that you're going to be wanting to work with when you purchase your machines. You're going to have a face-to-face -face interaction and it's really nice when you're typing somebody to know what they look like and for them to know what you look like. It just makes the relationship that much stronger and you're more likely to get what you want, uh, which is really important because you're going to need a lot of support when things break and usually the equipment manufacturer should do that. The other thing is uh, you, you can ask a lot of questions of everybody. You can avoid a lot of the mistakes that other chocolate makers have made. And in craft chocolate, everyone's very open. In industrial chocolate or industrial industries, uh, from what I've noticed, people are closed off. They're not gonna share their secrets. Everything is proprietary. In craft chocolate, the reason that I do these videos, we wanna share with everybody what we've learned not to do and what we think is good and that may be good or bad as far as what we're doing right now but we want everyone to learn from our mistakes and for craft chocolate to be super high quality that's the only way that we're going to stand out as an industry and keep growing because craft chocolate is going to it needs to be about making the best chocolate instead of the most chocolate whereas industrial chocolates the other way around they're making the most instead of the best and adding lots of milk and sugar so if you want to make um, interesting chocolate focused on the terroir and the wild yeast and bacteria that may be doing that ferment that contribute to flavors and the genetics. It's really fun to come into this event, any chocolate event, and be able to socialize on that level because most people are very interested in the same things that you are. So I love chocolate festivals. Manoa Chocolate got their start at the 2011 Hawaii Chocolate Festival and it was wonderful. You get all this added publicity, there's so much attention on it, and so it's a really good place to launch your business as a craft chocolate maker. So we hope to see you there and talk and eat and share chocolate. Halloween, Halloween, Halloween.